What I have for you here today is kind of a dual thing. It's a viewer request for one of my oldest viewers, Ultimate Ormus. And it's also a tutorial on how to make a reversal using only Macintosh software. I'm using an iMac Mini, and I'm also using the free iMovie program that came with it. So the first thing I did was I dragged and dropped some video. I converted it to MP4, grabbed it from my desktop, and then just dragged and dropped it onto this open program. Very easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So uh, what we've got here is some audio of um, Jill Biden talking to Joe right after the debate. So to totally fulfill the viewer request, I'm going to do the whole debate, but I have another project to do before that. But I really want to get this tutorial out there. So this is just kind of like a pre preview of the debate. And it's really the post-debate sort of nannying by Jill Biden of Joe Biden saying, oh my gosh, you did so wonderful. Here, let me play you the clip here so you know what I'm talking about. Joe, you did such a great job. You answered every question. You knew all the Oh, isn't that sweet? Okay, let's go ahead and um, split the thing there. And uh, before I go any further, I'm going to put a big red barrier uh, between this, my start off area, and the editing area to the right. So there's that big red sort of block there, and that is going to be the thing that um, sort of keeps you sane as you do stuff like this. So now that I've done that, I'm going to take the first bubble that I created um, to look for reversals, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, reverse that. I'm going to go ahead and reverse it, and I'm going to expand it a little bit so that it's a little slower than it would ordinarily be. I'll take it down to like 90%. Um, well, 92, it doesn't matter. So here we go. Let's hunt for reversals. Listen to that. It sounds like she's saying, says all you do choke. Okay, one more time. Okay, and it sounds like it's kind of a delayed and guttural kind of choke, so it's going to be kind of tricky to get it right, but let's start um, with uh, clipping it to the left, for, or uh, splicing it to the left first. Okay, let's get a little bit of crowd in there as well. Why not? Maybe I'll even expand it a little bit further so that I can get um, myself there cleanly. It almost sounds like she's saying, you're Brett Herstank. That means nothing, but um, it distracted me for a moment. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and take this, um, slow it down. I mean, speed it up to about um, normal. Okay, so it says all you do choke is the reversal that I got. That's at basically normal speed. Um, I'm going to try and get it to 100 exactly, although it probably doesn't matter. 100, 101, what's the difference? Um, so I'll copy that and put it to the work area in the right. Um, then I will copy it again, copy it again, and copy it again. Um, so let's hear that first part again. Okay, sounds like I got the cuv, the choke in there properly. So let's go to this, and it's already in reverse. Expand it to about 85. Take the next one, expand it to about 70% speed. So as you expand it, the speed gets slower. Um, then I'll take the third box, which is already reversed as well, and expand it to about 65 66, 65, whatever. Okay, let's hear how all those reversals sound in a row. Let's listen to the very last one to determine whether it's a, a s or a th or a kind of um, lisp s sound. Here we go. Once again. Okay, so I think it's actually most evident um, in the first and second reversals that are played at faster speed that the last word is indeed choke. 
Tschüss, ciao. Yeah, so right there, um, what we're finding is that the um, the cut or the guttural kind of cut at the end of choke is fading out the slower and slower you make it. So while you can use the feature on this iMovie to make the reversal as slow as you want, making it slow beyond a certain point might emphasize some things to be heard easier, but it also might de-emphasize what's really there. Um, so uh, approach going any slower than 70% with caution is what I say, although it can be useful, as I've pointed out before. Um, but anyway, so now to complete this reversal, what I will do is take... Um, this, uh, the first one, copy it, put it to the left, and then put it in forward uh, motion. So what was in reverse is now in forwards motion. Here we go. Question, you knew all the facts, all you show. Okay, then it just launches into the reversal. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, maybe even include something that's a little bit before that. Let me take this. Uh, copy. Copy and unreverse. Joe, you did such a great job, you. Okay, so this is the forwards material with the backwards material in order afterwards. Here we go. Joe, you did such a great job. You answered every question. You knew all the facts. all in this show. Okay, so what I'm going to do is give there to just a little bit of time between um, the um, the reversal and the forwards. Okay, so um, and then we're going to um, use the titles, um, you know, titles, subtitles. What's the difference? Uh, words are words. So since there are no subtitle settings, we're just going to use titles to make the words. There we are. Um, so upper left, here we go. And the reversal is, um, says all you do choke. Um, says all you do choke. Um, let's go ahead and put that in a really bold color, like yellow or something like that. Something really visual. Um, and I could up the font if I want to like 102, make it even more visible. Um, okay, um, so then what we need to do is uh, catch the forward speech a little bit. Um, and that would be, let's see. Joe, you did such a great job. You answered every question. Okay, so, Joe, you did such a good job. You answered every question. Joe, you did such a good job comma you answered every <laughs> oh boy uh, let's see okay let's highlight that in yellow as well um, and so now what we need is the brackets to show where the reversal actually is now to do that we can utilize the drag and listen feature on on uh, this program <laughs> So, so questions, you knew all the, um, question, and then you knew all the, I think is all that's left. Um, so let's listen to that again. Question, you knew all the Okay, question, you knew all the... Question, you knew all the facts. You knew all the facts, I think, or stats. Um, I'll just leave it at the end of the right there, but um, if I could find that out to the left, maybe that would be good. Okay, that's not going to help. So this is about as good as I can get it right here. There might be a little bit of a word that I'm leaving out, but had I taken a little more time to preserve the original Ford speech to the left of what you're looking at, it would have been a little easier. So anyway, I've kind of laid out how to um, find a reversal and document that reversal using only a free iMovie program. The reason I started doing this is every once in a while, my sort of mid-level PC decides it's going to uh, download or maybe just think about downloading new material 
which slows it for a few hours. Like I'd rather not wait. So that rarely happens on a Mac. On my Mac, when it decides to even think about uploading or upgrading or doing whatever else, it lets you know first and you have the choice. Do I want to work now or do I want my computer to be slow while it thinks about uploading? I think it's better to work on a, on a system that lets you work when you want at the speed of thought as fast as you want with no delays. That's really what a decent mid-level Mac Mini will get you these days. I mean, I think I paid about 800 bucks for it. And um, I mean, that's about half the real value that I paid for a, a, a Mac laptop back in uh, in 2005 and it works way better it's way more responsive um, so anyway yeah that's how you um, you do uh, reversals with a free program and um, now it's not as convenient as as the quintessential official reverse speech program um, that one does a lot for you it allows you to analyze clusters um, how different reversals cluster together um, it's a quicker process it's more streamlined um, but the one thing you can do on this program is make the reversal a little bit slower than 70% if you want to. And um, it, it gives you a little bit more graphic options, um, gives you the option to make a whole um, sort of um, watchable movie with different aspects mixed in am amongst the reversals. Um, so anyway, I'm just kind of rambling here, but um, I think the most important part is that I don't think that this reversal is perfect. Um, the reversal is says all you do choke. And I think that it might be pronounced to uh, lispy for the word says to be there. So perhaps the only reversal that I could really come up with now that I think about it is you do choke. That's there to me. Although, if someone were to argue that the choke, the ch at the end of choke is a little too, you know, it sounds like a different language with some kind of like guttural like emphasis, I'm not going to argue with that either. But the point being um, that if you take enough time and trouble, you can use this program to make reversals with. And um, yeah, enjoy, have fun.